All right, today we're checking out Heilung Lifea in Maidjan Live. So thank you so much to James Sharp for the patron request. It says this is, and by the way, James, you did perfect. Um, the submission form is great. It says this is the first performance that this band ever played together, even though they had experience working together or experience playing in different bands. Um, it says there's not a single instrument on stage you'd expect in a rock performance and their music's no hurry to go any place. So slow burn, but it sounds really interesting playing rock on non-rock instruments. It sounds like, so let's check it out. Love that sound. I've always wondered what instrument this is. It's got that really deep, um, full sound, you know? I listen to music like this when I'm trying to relax, you know, with this, this instrument in it. And then that, that long reverb on there. Listen to this. It's that delay, the delay that's got a high pass filter on it, so it's rounded out, and then reverb, so it's just like a nice smooth tail. Didn't see that coming. Whoa. Is this throat singing? It reminds me of like the Mongolian throat singing you hear in the Who. Really interesting. really beautiful message too at the bottom of this remember that we are all brothers all people beasts trees and stone and wind we all descend from the one great being that was always there before people lived and named it before the first seed sprouted wow beautiful poetry I think Rosie would dig this band.
also really curious about the blend of cultures behind the song because it says the Facebook is amplified history. And so it makes me wonder, like, this must be based on historical, you know, cultures and stuff, but I'm not sure what it is. Please let me know, James, if you if you do know. throat singing that's really cool most most of the voices are like ooh, but then they also have the harmony let me just see what that interval is probably a minor yeah it's the minor third and then a flat Just move up to the fourth? So she moved up to the fifth. Wow, just keep expanding the harmony. These drums are so cool. Such a different sound than I'm used to. It almost sounds like the vibe I'm getting from it is almost like invasion music, like the distant chant you would hear as like enemy armies are approaching you know like really eerie and sinister sounding on the darker side but that's just me <laughs> Whoa. 
Yeah, that's scary. That is hauntingly beautiful. Her voice reminds me of like Aurora's voice, you know? Just. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. That was some crazy vocal control. She went down into that chest voice with the rasp all of a sudden completely different tone than she was just doing but such a smooth transition She's cool. Ooh, it has that syncope drum in there now. Dun, 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 dun. Cool. idea what any of these instruments are. Like, especially this one right here, it looks like the bow that they're playing with looks like an actual bow, like you'd shoot an arrow with, but very, really small. And I have no idea. It's like rubbing a bow on a flute? That's what it looks like. I have no idea. But this is really interesting. Yeah, like what? What in the world is that? I'm just gonna look it up quick. High lung band? Is that what they call themselves? Okay, they're an experimental folk band made up of members from Denmark, Norway, and Germany. Music is based on text and runic inscriptions from Germanic peoples of the Iron Age and Viking Age. Okay. Well, that explains a lot. Now, let me see. Uh, 
Okay, they describe their music as amplified history from early medieval Northern Europe. So that explains the Facebook name. I just, I want to know what instruments they're playing. Okay, as instruments, items are used that may have already been available to humans in the Iron Age, such as drums, bones, or spears. Uh, the instruments they use consist of drums, including one with horse skin, painted with human blood. Whoa. Two drums with deer skin and a drum with goat skin. They use bones, including a human forearm bone and deer bones. That is hardcore. A buffalo horn rattle, a clay rattle with human ashes. Wow. See, I knew there was some darkness behind this music. A Hindu ritual bell, antiques from temples, a reconstructed silver cup from the Viking Age, a Rava... Ravana Hatha, an ancient instrument used in India. Maybe that's what it they're using. Okay, yeah, it looks like it. And other rattles, whistles, and percussive instruments. Okay, I gotta check out this Ravanatha. Ravana Hatha. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's that's what it is. What in the world? I can't even I don't even know what so there's like tiny little strings that each have their own tuning that you play with a bow? Is that what is going on here? I have no idea. That is the most confusing instrument I think I've ever seen. But I'd love to learn more about it. Is that the audience or members of the band? That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, here's the Ravenaf the Hatha. Okay, it is some sort of stringy sound. Oh. Hi, Augis. I gotta say, that beautiful, massive, wide harmony that's going on right now. Ooh, just so gentle behind everything. So many tones in it, too. Ooh, ooh. What in the world did I just watch? That was so fascinating. Okay. Well, thank you, James. I, I have a lot of questions. I just got to figure out this Rav Ravana Hatha thing real quick. And how it's played. Oh, so he's bowing in the same spot. So there's like little notches on the sides that are controls, almost like a saxophone? Or what in the world? Oh! What? Okay. Literally moving the finger up and down the string and pushing on it to change the tension and therefore change the pitch and like changing the tension and the length of the string with his finger while he bows it to create the different tones. Is that what's happening here? So look how he'll, now he's not pushing it. But what are all these little gear heads, knobbies, like machine heads you'd see on a guitar? Looks like there's only one string. That is so fascinating. Let me see if I can get a different angle. I want to see it like from the side. 
Is that during King Ravana's reign? The structure consists of a oh. long bamboo stem at the end of which half a coconut shell is attached. To make the shell more vibration proof, it is covered by goat hide. Thank you, Indica Pictures, for that explanation. The exclusive part of the instrument is the bejara, smoothed hair from horse tail, which makes the sound produced unique. What makes it the oh. world's first violin is that it was the first stringed instrument to be played with a bow, an arched stick with a taut string fastened to each end. No way! Wow! So that explains why it's in this band, the, the earliest known violin sounding instrument or bowed instrument. Ooh, even creating harmonics with it. The very name of the instrument, Ravana Hatha, is literal for Ravana's hand. He used to play tunes on the instrument to please his favorite deity, Lord Shiva. It oh. is believed that after the great battle between Lord Rama and Ravana, Hanuman had carried this instrument to the western part of India, where its tunes are still enlivening the cultural environment of Rajasthan. That's so interesting. Okay. Wow. So it originated in India then? Is that... I think so. I don't know. But, wow. Wow fascinating band thank you again so much james for making this request i really appreciate it and thank you for being a patron um anyway that's where i'm gonna wrap this up <laughs> we've been going a while but i guess it was a pretty long video and i had so many questions anyway thanks for watching i'll talk to you next time